Alright everyone, this week we'll be watching my scaleless Texas rat snake eat. Now, just like most other Texas rat snakes, he has a huge attitude, but I can tell he's still interested in eating because of how frequently he is flicking his tongue at the mouse. So that's why I didn't just give up after he struck a couple of times, I kept trying. And he will sometimes grab it and then let go. But with that tongue flicking as much as it still was, I decided to keep offering it, and then he decided in an instant that he did in fact want to eat that fuzzy. Now, scaleless reptiles in general is a pretty controversial subject, because of course reptiles have evolved to have scales for the protection of their body, and even some of the scaleless snakes still have quite a few scales, especially their bellies, which are fully scaled still. But breeding a scaleless snake, I'm not a huge fan of their look. They're kind of cool looking, um, but I would much prefer my snakes to have scales if I were to be completely honest. We were gifted a pair of het scaleless rat snakes. Um, the female escaped, unfortunately, so I bought this scaleless after I was told it was a female, but then we probed it and figured out it was a male, so now I'm stuck with two males, one het scaleless and one actually scaleless. The plan is to find a het female and either breed it to my adult, if she's ready to go now, or to raise up this actual scaleless and breed it to her when he is ready. Their shed is really interesting too. It feels kind of like lace, and you can see scales on the shed where the scales appear on the snake, of course. And he is, you know, he's very unique. I will give him that. We'll see. Maybe I'll start breeding scaleless in the future. But in the meantime, vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday, and we'll see you for that one.